What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 1 Week 1 tier list. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into this tier list. I'll be honest with you, after making this, after making a guide for every single character here, I feel like I have a pretty valid and a pretty good understanding of these characters and what they offer and how strong they actually are. So I'm not gonna waste your time, man. Let's just jump right into it. You guys see here we have the ranks here. We got best, really strong, strong, good, and bad. Honestly, I don't think any character is really truly bad. So if I put them in bad, I think they're like, they're, they're okay characters, but there's like the bottom of the list here. But I think for the most part, most characters here are either good or higher. I couldn't think of anything that was like, you know, multiple tiers of bad. Also guys, I don't want to see any comments that are like, oh, well actually, did you know that if you put Sub-Zero with Kung Lao as a cameo, he's S tier? I don't care about the cameos. Of course cameos can make a character way better and help their weaknesses. This is just the base character as themselves. So first character we're going to be dealing with is Ashra. And I like Ashra. I think she is good. I, I personally think she relies a bit too heavily on her going you know dark to light to then enhance her light moves she's good without that but because she relies on it and this is a very fast paced game she relies on cameos to then get that in which is possible but as a base character she relies on that i'm gonna put her as i mean I, she's got a lot of good stuff i'm gonna put her as strong because she does have the low projectile she's got the good light combos i like her a lot um baraka dude i absolutely i've never liked baraka before i mean i think he's fine you know before and i just adore him and love him as a character in mortal kombat 1 his moveset is damn it is so much fun he's got a projectile he's got speedy stuff he's, he's honestly just so good he goes in the best he's he's probably up there um if you ever hear a pro like brock is top tier probably i mean he's, he's really good oh man garris is so much fun again same thing with Baraka. i liked garris in mk11 but for some reason i just like him so much more in mortal kombat 1 and i think he's really strong i would put him in best but i think he's a bit slow at times doesn't have an amazing projectile but man his toolkit is just absolutely insane once you get the mechanics of garris down you're an absolute menace. All right, now we have Havoc. Havoc, I think, honestly, on the surface, is a good character. He's he's too slow for me. Doesn't have insane air combo potential as a base character. A lot of these characters are just so fast. He can be interrupted. He's got the armor on his down back one. I don't care. It's easy to get past that with a lot of characters like Baraka and stuff. I think he's good. I think he's a good character. I don't think he's bad. I think he could be a bit stronger in some areas. I think he's a fun character. I think he's a great character. But when it comes to like how good he is, you know, compared to the rest of the roster, I think he's good. Dude, Johnny Cage is absolutely insane. They gave him everything besides a projectile. He, he don't need it, man. He can just dash past everything. He can just get in your face. And once he's in your face, dude, you don't know. It's just, you're, you're dead. You just might as well just count down while your life is just depleting and yeah johnny he's he's up there he's probably one of the best too he's so freaking good kenshi has a super high in my opinion skill ceiling that a lot of beginners new players are gonna have a hard time with but once you get him and sento that stance and the puppet mastery down oh my gosh is it uh, you take that into account with cameos you can add with him i know we're not really doing that but as a base character dude He's insane. Again, I think at you know the beginning level, probably not. You know, you're not going to be the best with him. But once you master him, holy cow, he's disgusting. I like Katana. I th oh man, I I don't think she's absolutely bad. I think she's good. She's got some good stuff. I just find her a little bit too easy to counter whenever I fight her online, stuff like that. Again, I want to reiterate: if your main ends up being in like the good or the strong, that means they're still a really good character. I just think compared to the rest of the roster, they have some things to work on. But again, a really good player could be probably the best player with the worst character. You know what I'm saying? Like you might see a pro player play the worst character in the game, but then still be the best player. Dude, Kung Lao is really strong. Oh my gosh, he's got a projectile. He's got insane combos. He's got a grab. Dude, he's nuts, man. Kung Lao, he's always been pretty high up there. He's really strong, dude. Li Mei, I think is so strong. I, I don't think she's really strong or up there. But her, you know, set plate, the lanterns, and what she can offer when it comes to combo potential. She's got a projectile to help zone out if she needs to. She's a good, well-rounded, strong character. And I think the same can be said for Liu Kang. Again, he's got the projectile if he needs it, a good teleport for, you know, in combos. Good combo potential. He's fun to play. He's got a lot of good stuff. I don't know if I put him in really strong, but he is a strong character all around. I think he's just really well balanced. Melina, dude, she's nasty, man. She's so nasty. She's got so many tools, projectile, low projectile, air combo potential. Her specials are just insane. She's got quick recovery on a lot of stuff. She's safe on a lot of stuff. Melina, uh, as always, is just psychotic and it works in this game and it's so good. I can't play Melina. I respect those that can, but man, she's really good. I like Natara. I, man, I, 
I think she's strong. I think she has a couple of things maybe she could work on as a character herself. But I think, again, she's a well-rounded character. I like her setups. Her air combos are so much fun to do. She's got a really fun kit. I like Natara a lot. Raiden, uh, I've been a Raiden main since MK9. I've been playing, I'm, you know, I'm a loyal Raiden main through and through to MKX and all his variations, to MK11 and his moveset there, to MK1. And I'll tell you now, he is better than he's ever been, in my opinion. He is so much fun to play. And he's got everything that I've ever wanted in a Raiden. A teleport, projectile, good overhead, good lows. He's a bit slow on some moves on like some of the string combos, but I think regardless, he's got so much stuff to like really mess with your opponent. I would put him up there, man. He's really good. You're gonna see some really, really good range because he, he's got some good stuff. He's got, you know, he's got the portals he can set up. He's got his traps. Um, in your face though, I, I think he's bad, dude. I, I don't like, I wanted to love rain so bad. And you will see, again, you'll see some good rains out there. As a character, I did not like him. I found him. I find him too easy to counter when I play against him. He's a bit slow on start for a lot of things. His strings are not my favorite. I know he's a mage. I kind of. I mean, I love the whole mage thing, but man, they, I just. I, I just could not click with him. And fighting him as an opponent, I just find him easy to fight personally. I can already see it. Someone in the comments. I'm actually a rain maid, and I'll kick your butt any day. Oh my god, people do. I think Reiko is strong. I think Reiko, because they gave him a projectile. If he had no projectile, he'd be f, bro. I mean, a grapplers are always great. And they got to get in your face, but the way, with how fast paced Mortal Kombat One is, making him a grappler and then having a projectile just in case he's oh my god he's really strong i think his damage as a grappler is a bit lower than i expected which might be why he's in the strong category here but i think all around he's got some really good potential and is a really strong character i think reptile is really strong man he's got the force ball you can use he's got his lowest his overheads he can go invisible and really mess your opponent up the invisibility takes a bit too long for it to be really worth unless you freeze your opponent or something like that so as a base character it's a bit too long in my opinion but man if you go invisible and you know how to you know how, if you know how to fight when you're invisible oh my you're gonna be unstoppable i think reptile's kit is just really strong all around i think the same can actually be said for scorpion i want to put scorpion in between strong and really strong but with his potential of the, if you figure out his normals going into his strings and then his specials man he's got some good freaking stuff i love screaming something blockable for the projectile the hellfire if needed the teleport just keeps you in your opponent's face the pressure is insane i think scorpion is a really strong candidate for sure now i haven't messed around with shang Tsung, morphing into his opponents and stuff like that um too much but i, I mean i put enough hours into him didn't really know that his potential is probably the best. I mean, he, Shang Tsung is absolutely insane. First of all, you can go from young to old. That's two different move sets, first of all. So I'll be honest with you, he's a bit hard to master. And if you really want to morph into your opponents and do some awesome damage, you probably have to have a really good base understanding of all the rest of the cast, do the rest of the roster here, which that takes time. But once you do, Shang, I, I feel like Shang's gonna be one of the best characters ever in the long game. He's insane. I think General Shao kind of fits in the strong category here. Really well-rounded, got some great stuff, got some awesome damage, fun to play. I just think he's lacking a couple things to put him in the really strong category but your girl Sindel is really strong man she is she's got some really good stuff. Well, her best move probably one of the best moves in the game in my opinion as a standalone character is her scream the scream just restands you know your opponent so that you can either continue the combo from there or let the screaming stop and then go for the mix-up lower overhead again because your opponent's restanded it negates their ability to do a wake-up attack on you which in this game is huge she's got good overhead she's got good lows her air combo potential is absolutely insane she's got projectile she can stop your cameo she can enhance her own cameo region yeah man i, I kind of want to put sindel in the best but i know she lacks a couple things but man she is she's like probably like between best and really strong sindel is a really strong character in my opinion for sure i think the same can actually be said for smoke i think smoke is a really strong character he's got probably one of the most insane mix-up kits in the entire game with overheads the lows the pressure's insane you can go invisible and then really mix up your opponent man, same thing same thing with sindel you know i want to put him in best you know between best and really strong I think he's just really strong at all around. It's funny because, you know, we're almost done with this tier list and we already have, you know, six six characters in the best, really strong, strong. Like, as you, it's kind of cool to see like where I put the people here. All right, well, let's go Sub-Zero. Man, Sub-Zero, I, I, I just find him too easy to counter, just like, just like Rain. I think he's a bit slow. He's got the ice ball, but the ice ball is just too slow. So he kind of relies on the ice clone. But if you just kind of wait that out, the ice clone ain't going to catch you no more. He's got one really good overhead that's way too slow. So you, you just know to block lows. And then when you see the overhead coming, just block overhead. I think he relies too much on the cameos to make him a better character. So as a base character, I don't think he's like absolutely terrible. I think he got some good stuff going on. But compared to the rest of the roster here, I put him down on the bad. Sorry to your Sub-Zero main. Man, Tanya is so much. I think Tanya is really strong. I really do. She's got the, she's got she got a parry. She's got a projectile. She's got a mechanic that can actually enhance her dash normals. She's got fun air combo. She's got great specials. She's got so much. She's got fun strings. Man, she's got it all. Tanya is a really strong character all around. Now, 
let me say now that now that this tier list is done let me say that again if you're a really good player you're gonna see pros play these lower characters in my opinion and they're gonna be amazing well yeah the every character has the potential to be a really amazing character in my opinion i just think when it comes to their base kit you know their frame data their mix-up game what their specials offer that's what's determining where i put them on this list i think a really good anybody is really scary so interesting take here we got baraka johnny kenshi melina raid and shang in the best garris kung lao reptile scorpion sindel smoke and tanya in the really strong i stand by it ashra Mei, liu kang natara reiko general shao and strong we got havoc and katana and good and then rain and sub and bad this is my official mortal kombat one week one tier list let me know down below guys do you agree with this list where did your main end up on here do you agree with that let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time